Let's shift gears for a moment now. And Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Muturi, terms as unfortunate the ugly incident during the debates on the Security Amendment Bill in the National Assembly. Muturi says it was demeaning to the dignity of Parliament, falling short of saying that disciplinary action will be taken against errant members who were involved in the fiasco. Muturi also congratulated the Senate for the sober manner with which it conducted its affairs during a special sitting to debate the security laws. He was speaking to KTN's Aaron Ochien. What is your relations with the, with the Senate? Uh, I don't know if I should call it the upper house. Uh, do you term your house, uh, the, the National Assembly, as superior to the Senate? I think it is it was wrong uh, to, especially given my position, um, to perpetuate that um, wrong notion of um, a house that is superior or inferior to the other. Uh, they suffice to say that um, the Constitution has created uh, two houses in Article 93, which is very clear that they established a Parliament of Kenya which shall consist of the National Assembly and the Senate. Now, um, each house has been given uh, its, you know, its respective mandate. The National Assembly has its mandate well cut out in Article 95. The Senate has its mandate also cut out in Article 96. Other processes of, co of uh, both houses are provided for within the Constitution, first and foremost, because the Constitution allows for each house to promulgate its own standing orders, which guide uh, the conduct of business. And with regard, regard to others, um, other provisions of the Constitution, like Article 110, uh, indicate what our business should be conducted. I therefore don't think whether um, this uh, misconception of uh, an upper house, a superior house, an inferior house, a lower house should uh, preoccupy um, in, it should preoccupy us at, at all. I think each house has its work well cut out in the Constitution. But I don't think it will be contemptuous if you could uh, just tell me your own um, analysis or interpretation of Article 110 that uh, uh, we saw the Senate uh, basing its argument on that ne uh, both speakers needed to have consulted. I think w what is the level of consultation be uh, between the two speakers on matters to do with um, bills? The current matter which is before the court, I think it is fair that we must respect uh, what is happening. Our rules are that we shouldn't comment on matters that are before court. It is unfair. I've seen articles being written in, in, in the newspapers, um, some lawyers and other columnists purporting to, to advance particular points of view. If you have po any point of view that you would want advanced, seek, make an appropriate application in a court to seek to be enjoined so that you, can, you will have the opportunity to go and address the court. These are the things about writing uh, articles, trying to argue a point which is also being confessed in court, indeed is contemptuous. Uh, I cannot fail to acknowledge the low moment of 18th of December uh, because it completely uh, went below any, any, any known standards in a parliament where we all appreciate the parliament to be a place where you come and debate um, ideas. Uh, it's not a place for flexing muscles. And it's for that reason that I say that um, I congratulate uh, our brothers of the Senate because notwithstanding the strong views and feelings they had about uh, the debate for which they were called for a special sitting, they were able to argue the matter. Each side put their case as best as they knew how no physical confrontation. I think that was a plus, and I would want to urge the National Assembly to emulate that. Never resort to violence. It does not help, uh, because um, a parliament uh, is a place to debate. Thank you so much, uh, Speaker, for finding time to talk to us. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. All right. Thank you.